Hey, Ryan Riders, Keith Wheeler here back with another video for you. In today's video, we're going to be talking about Kindle short reads. I've done a couple of videos where I talk about Kindle short reads and people have really been interested in it and they've been asking me a lot of great questions. And so in this video, I'm going to answer one of the biggest questions I get, which is how do I know what type of book to create for a Kindle short read? So if you're excited to learn about that, make sure you give that thumbs up a smashy smashy. It gives me that nice warm fuzzy feeling and it lets YouTube know to share this video with other people. Also, fun fact, I actually did some research on my analytics and apparently like 75% of the people that watch my videos aren't even subscribed. So if you haven't subscribed already, what are you waiting for? It's absolutely free and all the cool kids are doing it. Anyway, with that, let's talk about Kindle short reads. So what I'm gonna share with you right now is actually exactly what I would do if I wanted to write a Kindle short read within the next week or so, and I didn't have a topic in mind. I didn't know what niche to jump into. I wanted to do something different, and I wanted to basically what they call write to market. So what could I do to better my chances of success with a Kindle short read by figuring out exactly what's selling? Well, the short answer is head on over to Amazon and find out. So let's do just that. I'm going to flip the screen around. We're going to go to Amazon and I'm going to show you what the top selling books are for Kindle short reads. So here we are on Amazon and we want to find the best selling Kindle short reads. And so we're going to go over here to all and I'm in incognito mode just so that we none of my search history affects anything that we do. And I'm just going to go in here and we're going to go to bestsellers and then in categories, we're going to go down to Kindle store. And then right here, Kindle short reads. So Kindle short reads are broken down into the different categories based on the page length. So the estimated page length, estimated uh, time reading is 15 minutes, 30 minutes, 45 minutes, one hour, 90 minutes, and then two hours or more. And so basically anything under a hundred pages can be considered a Kindle short read. Now, one thing I wanna make note is this is an ebook only. And so this does not exist for, for paperbacks. And so uh, understand that it's Kindle pages based on the what the system considers a page, not uh, actual like a Word document pages. So keep that in mind, it, it'll vary a little bit. So anyway, so then what we're gonna do is we're just gonna find out what the top selling books are in those particular niches. And so, you know, you've got the top 100 paid, a top 100 free, Right now, because we're, we want to uh, make money. Uh, and so we're going to focus on the paid, but you can do this exact same research using free if your book is going to be free. So if we don't know what length we want, like we don't care, we just want to know what the top selling books are, then we can just stay up here in the, uh, in the main category of just short reads. And this will tell us the top 100 selling books in Kindle short reads in general, uh, regardless of what subcategory they are. And, uh, and then down here, just like with most categories, you're going to see, uh, the top three new releases. And so we can just look, uh, at the first one. And because many of these are going to be fiction books, it might be hard to tell exactly what the niche is. And so what I can do is I can hover over it. I'm using uh, a, a free Chrome extension called DS Amazon quick view, where it just shows me just by hovering over the picture. Uh, it shows me what the product details are. If you don't have this, then you can just simply click on the actual title and it will bring you to the sales page. And then you can scroll down about halfway and you'll get to the product detail section. It gives you the exact same amount of information. So um, when I hover over here, it tells me what the other categories are. So, uh, so this is a fiction book, uh, parenting and relationships. It's in, um, again, it's in singles literature. So it's probably about relationships, probably about being single, that kind of stuff. And, um, and it's also in the 45 minutes short read. So it tells me that, you know, about how long it is. And so again, and right now this is number one in all those areas. It's also number 41 in all of Kindle store. So it tells you how voracious these readers are for this particular book. I mean, this just published in on January 1st, 2024. And right now it's January 17th. 2024 as I'm recording this. So you're talking, it's been around for a, about two weeks, a little over two weeks, and it's already getting that kind of sales. So we'll go over to the next one. And, uh, this one published last year or back in 2022, actually, and it's 53 pages in, in print length. Uh, and then this one is holiday fiction. 
Uh, again, this is January, so you know it's probably still people interested in, in the holiday type stories uh, short shortly after the holidays. Uh, so we've got holiday fiction. Uh, again, this is it's actually in books as well, and it's also in thriller and suspense. So if you want to do thriller and suspense, it, it shows that those type of books are selling. Okay. So let's scroll down and see what other ones. Now, I do see some of these like comic book themed ones. Um, so I wouldn't mess with that. This right here is just by the cover is probably um, a steamy romance would be my guess. And, and uh, actually it says it right there, steamy shorts. If you're into that, uh, then, then yeah, that you're showing this shows that, that these are selling as well. Um, it looks quite a bit of those. Uh, again, right now we're just in the, the top 14. Again, there's a lot of these uh, comic book type books, uh, which again, I, I definitely wouldn't do anything that is based off of uh, intellectual property that is not your own. But yeah, so this, you know, real quick, will tell you, again, we're in just the generic, the, the top level short reads. And as you can see, I want to scroll down here to, to number 100, just so you can see how voracious these readers are. Okay, so the number 100 book, um, again, it's another one of those, uh, looks like steamy romance and, uh, it's ranked 3,787. So now just to put things in perspective, I'm going to flip over here to, uh, to a sales calculator that I use. And this is from Kindlepreneur, uh, ebook for amazon.com. And I'm just going to put in the, uh, the ranking. It's telling me it's selling 56 books on average per day to keep that rating. And that's the one that's ranked 100 in the group. So again, that shows that these are just voracious readers. Now, again, this is in the main group. So we're going to go down to one of the, uh, one of the subgroups. So let's say, you know, that you don't want to write a lot, you know, you, you know, you want to just write a quick short read, um, maybe 10 page, 10, 11 pages. So we're gonna go to the 15 minutes and let's see what sells here. So, uh, as you can see, this is, uh, the very first one. Obviously they're going to most, most of the time they're going to be 99 cents. You know, they're not going to be super, you know, pricey. And one thing to keep in mind is you need to ask yourself, you know, one, can you compete with those kind of sales that they're getting? Also look at the number of reviews. Like the, I mean, this one has 4,000, this one has, you know, over 20,000. So we want to look and see exactly what, you know, what's, what's selling. And again, these are just general niches. There, there is a sub niche within each one, as you can see. So right now we're in one to 11 pages. These are the different sub niches. Okay. So you can look at these and see if any of these topics jump out at you. Now, what I like to do is I go in and I just look and see what, get an idea for some of the top sellers, you know, what, what niches are selling you know, some nonfiction, how to delete books from my Kindle library. I mean, that's simple. And this only has, um, it has 116 reviews, but it doesn't look like they're great reviews. You know, they're three star, three and a half stars. So if you can write something better than that, then you, that's one that you might be able to compete with. You know, these titles, I mean, these covers are not super great, um, from what I'm seeing, especially the nonfiction ones. Um, how to buy Kindle books on your iPhone or iPad, how to return a borrowed Kindle book. So there's a lot of these in, in the short reads in the one to 11 pages, 15 minutes that are a lot of nonfiction. And a lot of them seem to really be focused around Amazon and Kindle. Um, I mean, this one right here, it's 62,000. Let's see what that is. So it's selling about four books a day. Not bad. And let's see what the price point is. And that's at 299 and it's only two and a half stars. So if you can come up with something that's better than this and uh, let's see how many pages is it, it's six pages long on the print version or, or the print relevance. And so, yeah, and it's still, it's number five in this category. It's number six in this category, number eight in this category. So, I mean, if you can write a book similar to this and, but better, that's a great resource. I mean, like I said, you, you're making over a dollar profit per book sold and it's selling four books a day. So again, it's not necessarily something right, you know, to begin with, that's going to, you know, nothing to break the bank. But again, if yours is better than that, it can do better sales. So there's an, op there's an option right there. So in the short one, I would say a lot of nonfiction. Uh, and, uh, and again, 
that's just looking in the in the general in the top 100 and again you can jump down to each of these if one of these jump out at you is something you're interested in you know maybe you want to write um, a science and math so you click in here I mean these are over hundred thousand but look at the price points you know and the, again they're still short they're one to eleven pages I mean I I wouldn't I could imagine charging almost five dollars for something like that so if you come in here and you create something uh, similar if this is something of interest to you this topic and you you know have it at a lower price point then you got a much better chance of getting sales now i will say one thing you'll notice is that many of these books uh, in the kindle short reads regardless of the category are in kindle unlimited now you're not going to make a lot of money in the kindle unlimited but it is a way for people to get to know you as an author. So if you have, uh, if you plan on doing a, a brand around this, then putting your book in Kindle Unlimited is a great way to get yourself some visibility. Let them get a taste for how you write and the topics that you write about, you know, by doing something and putting it in Kindle Unlimited. And then your other books that may be bigger and longer, you can take out of Kindle Unlimited. Or if it's, you know, if they're epic, you know, if you write epic fiction, then yeah, then you can keep it in Kindle Unlimited and the, you know, half, less than half a cent per page is something that, that will eventually add up to some, some significant money. But again, if you're just putting out short reads, uh, the Kindle Unlimited money you're going to get, the KENP is not going to be much. It's, I mean, it's like I said, it's less than half a cent per page. So if you're, even if you're doing the hundred pages of max that will can qualify as a Kindle short read, you're still talking at less than 50 cents for everybody that reads your book from front to back. So again, uh, they, they do put them in Kindle unlimited again for the, uh, to get that people involved, to get them interested, get those voracious readers. But as far as making any money from that aspect of it, from the KENP, you're probably not going to, uh, at least with short reads, but you will, you can, they'll still sell if people aren't in the Kindle Unlimited library. They can, they will still be able to buy it for whatever your price point is. So again, this is the the lowest. This is the 15. Let's jump to the the two hour. And again, this research I'm doing, I just don't want this to be super lengthy. But this research I'm doing, you can do exact same thing in all the different categories. So in two hours or more, which is 65 to 100 pages, uh, the number one book is uh, as of right now is an Amazon original stories is the publisher, which is something done through Amazon. So it doesn't surprise me that it's number one. Um, and then this one is, uh, another adult a steamy mist or a steamy book. Again, this is another Christmas holiday one and it looks like romance. So it looks like, especially in this particular one, it looks like romance is, is pretty popular at least overall. But again, there's subcategories. So you can go into each of the subcategories, let's say um, teen and young adult. And again, this is going to be fiction right here. This is uh, Amish romance. If that's something you, you're inter interested in writing, uh, this top one is, it's ranked uh, 3000. So again, selling multiple copies a day. And this one is in another one of those uh, parenting relationship. Um, looks like it's about divorce as well. And again, I'm just using the categories to tell me about what the book is. Obviously, not everybody puts their books in the correct categories, but um, you know that's the best thing I you have to go by uh, without going clicking on each one, reading the description, and really learning more about the book. At this point, when I'm doing research for short reads, I'm not interested in knowing what this book is. I don't care. I want to know what the niche is, what type of book it is, so I can see off right from the beginning. If it's something I'm interested in, you know, I, I personally cannot write in something that I don't have some kind of interest in. Now that doesn't mean that if I see something lucrative that I can't hire a ghostwriter, but again, that's cost, that'll cost you more money. So, um, but if it's a short read, you know, maybe, maybe it'll, it won't cost you too much. So again, this is all something that you'll need to decide when it comes to your own business. But, um, but yeah, it looks like these are, uh, a lot of these are, are romance. This one's more like a Harry Potter type book, you know, it's sword and sorcery and fantasy. So that's cool. So, uh, and that's still doing well, 24,000, not bad at all. And again, this is in teen and young adult. So go through here and look and see if any of these are of interest to you. Again, you don't want to copy any of this. You don't want to copy the story or, or the cover or anything like that. 
You just want to, you're just doing this research to see what is selling. What are people as of the moment you're, you're checking it out, you're researching it. What are they buying? Especially when it comes to short reads, it, this is very beneficial because, you know, if you write an epic novel, it's going to take you longer to write. So you may do research on what we call writing to market, you know, writing to what the market is looking for. And by the time you publish it, the market might change. You know, they might not be interested. But when it comes to short reads, you know, many times you can knock out, you know, depending on, on your writing style, uh, how, how, how skilled you are at writing, you know, how many rounds of edits you need to do, how many pages you decide you're going to do, all of that, you can probably knock out a Kindle short read in as little as a day. And, you know, you know, many people can do it within a week. And so there's a lot less chance of, you know, overall sales marketing changing in such a short period of time. And so, uh, especially if you, if you're really interested in doing writing to market and, and letting the market tell you what stories they're interested in, then Kindle short reads are a great way to do that because you can put something out fairly quickly. And also, especially if you want to build a brand around it, you can put out multiple books fairly quickly. Because as you can see, a lot of these books that are doing well are in a series. They may not be a continuous series where, you know, you have to read book one and then book two, and book three. They can still be a, a series that are related, but not necessarily so intertwined. And so you, they don't need to necessarily buy them in, in a certain order. And so you can very quickly see how profitable this can be. And uh, especially if you are, whether you're just starting out and maybe you're not the greatest of writers, maybe you don't have a lot of confidence in your writing, or, or maybe you have an idea for a series, but you don't want to write the whole series and then find out they don't sell. So Kindle short reads is a great way to, to kind of test the waters. And so, um, again, you can start out with as little as one page, uh, one page, the, the one page ones are typically for nonfiction. I mean, there are some fictions in there, you know, it could be a great prequel to something else that's coming later or something that's already been created. You know, if you already have a book that's not selling, then maybe creating a Kindle short read as a prequel, and then it'll direct the customers to that other book. You know, it's another great way to, to do it with, without having to write another long epic novel. So there you go. That's how I do my Kindle short read research. You know, I, I don't want to spend a lot of time and write something epic. I just want to write a short read. I can go in here and see what is selling right now and what, you know, of that that's selling, what do I have interest in? You know, what do I have interest in creating? Well, there you go. Those are the top selling books when it comes to Kindle short reads. And you can do the exact same research I just did. And as you saw, it doesn't take too long. And especially if you have an idea as to what size, you know, how big you want to write your book, how many pages you want approximately, then you can even make this research a lot shorter by only focusing on that particular sub niche of Kindle short reads. And if you enjoy this process and you enjoy writing Kindle short reads, well, then you want to make sure that you check those out periodically because the top sellers are going to change week to week, sometimes even more frequently than that. So if you want an idea for a new Kindle short read niche, or maybe you want to jump into a different length of Kindle short read, then yeah, do the exact same research I just did. Now, if you want to learn more about Kindle short reads and you haven't checked out my other videos, I have a playlist right here where I talk about Kindle short reads. Now, if you've already seen that video, well, then YouTube says that this video right here is perfect for you. So I'll catch you inside one of these videos and remember to write right.